Hi everyone, welcome to Crafty. <laughs> Oops, wrong channel. Welcome to H. Cooper Crafty Book. <laughs> Today, I'm going to bling up my cottage ladder braid. So I checked, or I looked at some different bling on it and I like this best. I haven't started it yet, but I just laid it on there and I like the looks of this. So what I'm gonna do is put it on the center of the side that doesn't have anything pretty on the inside. Now on this side, it's pretty on the inside. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not sure if I'll do anything here or not. Let me look at it after I get it done and I've got it, see how mine's twisted like this? And I wanna leave it twisted like that. I'm gonna lay it out and attach the bling like that. Hopefully not mess up that twist because I want it twisted like that. I really like it like that. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this video. It will go in the series with the Senior Mom in 2023. I'm making a playlist series. Um, what that means is it, it's just a playlist that is going to have every video where I'm working on this mom in it. So if you want to see the whole thing, all you have to do is go to that playlist, which I will put a link in either a card that will come across the top and I one of these corners I can't remember if you don't see them come across just click on the eye with a circle around it and it will bring it will bring up all the um, links that I put and then on the end screen uh, there'll be a video and a playlist and then my channel and I'll try to make sure that that playlist is for this series if not you can also go to my channel go to playlist click on created playlist and scroll through them and you'll find that I'm also, I also have a playlist for 2023 mum making, so that's going to have a, all the tutorials I did for 2023. Some of the mums may have been from the 2022 season, but I didn't do the videos until 2023, so I put them in 2023. So, and then I have other playlists. So. I've got lots of playlists. Lots of videos and lots of playlists. <laughs> I hope I'm not giving you too many, but nobody's complaining yet. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy this video, and let's get to it. Let's see if our glue gun is hot. I forgot to plug it in. It's getting warm. It may not be warm enough. Let's see. This thing takes a long time to get warm for some reason. Yeah, it's barely pumping out. So I'm going to start right here. And you can get an idea of how that's going to look. See how pretty that's going to be? All right, while this warms up, I'm going to make sure I've got the best angle going, so. And I will probably put a bow or something. If not, I'll put some more bling in the bottom to cover up those staples. And I'm not going to do very many at a time because I don't want it to get cold. have to keep twisting it. Still not real warm, so it's still struggling to pump it out. But I'm just gonna do like four or five at a time. And then of course you've got glue or strings everywhere. That's part of it. Look how pretty that is. You guys, if you don't know how to make this, Connie has a wonderful video. So please go over and see her video tutorial for this. It's called The Cottage Ladder. I will also put a link to that video on a card. So one of those cards will be for her video. So please go check that out. She has a really good video, really good explanation on how to make it. I did not struggle at all. I actually made a video of me making it for the very first time. So you guys saw how easy it was. You know, I messed up a couple of times and, but that always happens with, with new braids. And I just did a very small one to begin with. 
and then I made this one. So this was my second one. That's how easy it is. And how pretty. She got the idea for this from palm leaf weaving, which I thought was really cool. Way to look outside the box, Connie. That was awesome. Now this will be good too. What I'm testing for is, you know, I ship my mom's, so I always have to end up folding over some braids and chains in the box very carefully. And I have videos of boxing up mom's. So what I'm just testing is, is it gonna, am I gonna be able to fold it over? Is that gonna work? And the answer is yes. I tell you what, it's difficult to, buy, to um, deal with is whip braids because it's one long you know how they are and it doesn't want to bend so that one is a pain in the butt as connie would say i got tangled up okay this is an awkward angle too good thing that cooled down a little bit because i just put my finger right in the hot glue There, you can see where they, that's where they meshed up. And that will actually help me when I need to bend it because those two won't be so connected. Okay. I'm just gonna keep twisting it as I go. Try to attach them in the middle. <laughs> it doesn't want to turn that way. Look how much that adds to your braid. And it's not difficult. Doesn't take a lot. I buy this in big rolls off Amazon. I used to get a two pack and it is no longer available. So I probably need to take that off my Amazon store. I just realized that. I had to order from a different place and it was just a single roll because this is how much I have left over from two rolls. And so I did just place an order of some bling and different bling, so I need to make sure those are in my Amazon store. I will work on that. For my members, I did post, and I think it was all the channel members, I did post a couple of pictures of the bling and stuff that I ordered um, from Amazon. I didn't show everything, but then I put links, and of course there are affiliate links, but in the description of the post of everything that was mem related that I got. So they have them. I just need to put them in my store. I forget sometimes to update stuff, but then I don't always know that something is out of stock and no longer available. So if you see anything in my store ever that's unavailable or sold out or something, let me know so I can get it out of there. All right, see how easy that was? Look at that. So pretty. Oops, that was probably out of range. Sorry about that. You can still see the staples. It's not bad though. So something else little and I may still put a bow or something there. But for now that works. 
Like I said, you can still see the staple, but it's not like bad, bad. I covered up the worst of it. Okay, that was super simple. That was just nine minutes and 40 seconds. And I did a lot of talking at the beginning. So here it is. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Love this, love, love, love. Isn't that going to be pretty on there? Look at that. Oh, I love it. Look how pretty. I don't think I want to do anything to this side. I love how blinged out that side is, and then you get a totally different look on here. And that's really giving it a unique look. Oh, I love it. So pretty. That may be my favorite brand. Now we're going to do this one. Let's bling this one up. And I'm not sure if I want to use the same bling or if I want to use the rectangular. Let's see what else I got. I ordered more of the rectangular too. Here's what I have left of the rectangular. You can see not a lot. I mean that's still a good amount but it's going to run out fast. And it comes in double. But the one that I ordered um, I found one that was four rows deep and it's supposed to be the same yard so we'll see but I was like ooh four rows I hadn't seen that before okay tilt you down and show you how I'm gonna do this so you you could just cut this kind of you can't really cut it across because the way they do the center sections let me show you up close so you can't just cut across because you would cut in between. So you have to cut in the middle, come up, and then cut over here. Which isn't a big deal, but it's kind of weird. So I usually just do one row and cut right down the center there. Right there. Right there. <laughs> I keep getting out of focus. I'm so sorry. Okay. So, hmm. Not liking that because... That's three and a half there. But if I do one there, oh, I think that'll work. Let's see. It's gonna be a pain in the butt, but <laughs> it's late. Just to let y'all know, so I'm gonna be a little bit silly and goofy on this one. Oh, that's perfect. Covering up the staple, perfect width. I have to cut each one individually, which is a pain, but that is okay. Let me go ahead and cut, let's see. I think I have eight. Eight. So, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. And I usually just glue right there in the middle on that big solid piece. That way it's not oozing all over the place and then I'm not burning myself either. Try to line those up best I can. This is awkward. Sometimes the best angle for you guys is the worst angle for me. 
and it makes my life harder. <laughs> I don't think people understand. It's not like you just push play on a camera nearby and go to work. Not complaining, it's just, uh, it is a lot of added work to film stuff. I do enjoy it, don't get me wrong. I enjoy teaching and I enjoy this community. I don't enjoy the drama from other people, but they can't take our, what we love away from us. It's funny how you just add a little bit of bling to the top and it just sets it off. So beautiful. Even though I had to cut these individually, it's super easy. This is going a lot faster than the other one. Now some of those, I'm not sure how they're gonna hang and stuff, so I don't know how I want to add bling, like the Peyton braid. I'm, I was telling them, everyone on the live, if they were on there or watched it, that um, you know, I was thinking about draping it across. I haven't decided yet and then you know I may it's got some glitter ribbon I may add some bling to it I may not I don't know the Mobius I think I'm gonna leave the Mobius alone it's got diamond let me lift that up and show you guys both of these things instead of making you stare at a table okay here we go look how pretty so we got the diamond dust we've got this mylar Foil looking ribbon with white on the inside, which I did a video for this. I did a video for almost everything. Now we have this pretty bling on the top. There we go. See, so you had to I had to line those up, and make sure I got them pretty, pretty perfect. They're not all perfect, but pretty close. You want them really close. Just try not to be sloppy. Try to just do the best you can. Don't try to be perfect because nobody's perfect. Nobody's mom looks perfect. Learn how to cover up those mistakes. That's a big thing. And like Connie says, happy accidents because there's so many times that we screw up on a mom and we're like, oh no, what am I going to do? And then we end up making something even better out of that mistake. So don't get too frustrated if you make a mistake you mess something up you get some glue on something that won't come off without ruining it if you have to like shut it down and walk away and go do something else whether it's five minutes an hour tomorrow do that come back with fresh eyes and you'll be amazed you'll, you'll you're if you're making mums you're creative you are a creative person um at least a little bit and you're gonna think of something you're gonna try some stuff and then i guarantee you Nine out of 10 times, you're gonna love that mom or whatever part it was better than what it was. It always ends up being a happy accident or something you're pleased with. You think you just totally ruined something and then you do something with it and you're like, it looks good. Cover it up with a bow, cover it up with a trinket. There, there's always ways to cover it up, but sometimes you can come up with something really creative and even better than what you originally planned, so is my loop chain so I'm thinking that they can use white stickers they can even use silver glitter stickers it's not gonna pop I mean white on silver silver on white it's not gonna pop very much anyway it's gonna kind of blend in but they could eat like I said they could even use silver glitter stickers and you'd still be able to read it I would think I don't know but white I think on there would pop the most but that's up to them how this is gonna be a pre-made mum for them to buy and personalize themselves. Or I will give them the option 
uh, some different personalizations where I can do stickers and stuff with it. And even some custom cutouts, you know, like names or something. So this, and then what I was fixing to say about the Mobius, this was the number nine ribbon I made the Mobius with, which I did a video for that. I mean, you do it the same way as any, but I went ahead and made a video for a Mobius with the 9 16th and then a Mobius with the one and five sixteenths, which is the number nine and the number three. But since this is the same width ribbon as these, on these white ones, whoops, pointed at the wrong ones, they could put silver stickers going down the Mobius on those. That's 1.3 inches of space they have to work with. This was one of my accidents, if you saw my video, hanging on to that because I may do something with it, you just never know. This turned out way too short. I can't remember why I was, didn't, wasn't able to look at the links and I just cut some ribbon and started playing. It's a very pretty love braid, turned out really well. It's just really short. I didn't want a full length one. I was thinking like draping it or making a circle or doing something with it. It's not imp impossible to work with at this length, but we'll see. We'll see, I may end up having to save it for something else. Just because I'm making a bunch of stuff for this doesn't mean that I'll use it all. I may not. So like this one, I was thinking of draping it. Haven't decided yet. But maybe even two or three things, something coming out of here, which I don't have anything good to show you to drape, but let's see. And then I have the zigzag. And I don't know if I should, I didn't use, I used some striped diamond dust in there. Can you see that? So there is some spaces and I'm wondering if I should put some bling on those. Just really bling it up. Let me put this one back on here. Okay, okay see that just makes it look so much better. And I think I've got three braids on here with this one little clip. I've got some really long pieces. I should be able to do something with those. Uh-oh. I have a... Look at that. I'm going to have to... Oh, never mind. It just pulled. It pulled. It got, like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but all I had to do was pull on it like this from end to end, and it's fine. It was a center piece, it looks like. I used the 916, so it's like, it could fit on there, but it's a really tight fit. Let me see about this one. I'm just thinking about these solid pieces right here. Let's see. That one there, one there. Oh, that's very pretty. I like that. I don't want to overdo it with the bling, but I definitely want some bling, and I think that's very pretty. Let's see if I can. Okay. I hope that's good. In case you need a close-up of that. I can't tell if it's focused in. All right, let's see. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. Okay. 
Again, I'm putting it with the hot glue in the center. Not Sometimes I'll swirl it all around like this, but I don't want to ooze it too much over. I hate when it oozes out and I'm trying to push them down. Alright. Look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Thank you, TJ, for this beautiful braid. For taking all that time to figure out how to make it into a ribbon braid. It's gorgeous. Love it. So that is um, 9 16 white acetate or luster, whichever one. I think I used luster. And then diamond dust or diamond ribbon. Different places call it different things. And this one is a striped pattern. And I think I found it at L and M. See how it's kind of got a stripe pattern to it? was the only silver they had and I thought well surely I can use that on a few things I've used it a, a ton already it's already down the roll that much <laughs> I just love it I think it's gorgeous and then here's what the back side looks like and you see I picked the side that had more silver showing and I did show a uh, a short video of me making it but not from start to finish because I want you to go to TJ's video to learn how to make it. I just wanted you guys to see um, me making it because it's part of this mum and I said I was going to try to film everything. So it was not for tutorial purposes. It was just to show you what I'm making for the mum. So I will put links to the zigzag braid, the cottage ladder, and I will find the video where I made this and put links to all of those and like it said all but it will be in the playlist so maybe I'll even include their tutorials in my playlist since um, they're part of my mom I hope I remember to do that remind me if I don't okay guys I'm done 30 minutes to bling up three braids and to talk to y'all and move my camera around and stuff. So it probably would have taken me like 20 minutes to bling those up if I hadn't been filming. So not complaining, I'm just telling you like time-wise for you guys, <clears throat> 20, 25 minutes at the most. So easy, sets up your braids to look so much better. Love, love these braids. This mom's gonna be so pretty when I'm done. And I hope you guys enjoy the process of this and understand that I can't do a full tutorial from start to finish <laughs> for a large mom. It's just not going to happen. Um, I've seen other people do that, like start to finish uh, moms, but they have like all the braids ready, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm making everything from scratch. So there's going to be several different videos for that. But that's why I'm making a playlist with everything in it. So you can watch it and it'll be like, it'll either be uh, from the earliest video down or 
from the latest video down. Do you understand what I'm saying? When you open up the playlist, they'll be in order, but it may be, you may have to start at the bottom. So I'm, I'll try to remember to set it because it sets itself, every playlist sets itself as like the latest, like this video will be on the top. And then the very first one where I did like the streamers will be on the bottom. So I need to change the settings where that one is on top. That way you can watch it from start to finish. Just have to push play all in the in the playlist. And so you can watch it start to finish. It'll just feel like that. Like I said, uh, I know I talked about this in the live. I did this ribbon because both my cameras were busy and that was just something small I could do. It's just some glitter vinyl and homecoming and it's just an acetate ribbon and I put like each letter like this I already had some homecoming still from last year pre-cut I showed this on my lap too and I used this one which I believe is cloud nine from Cricut, which I noticed they charge for that one now I don't think they did last year um yeah, so that's how I did that. And I've done stickers several times on Mom's showing attaching stickers uh, and attaching them catty corner like that every time. I love doing it catty corner like that because I think it's fun and it's not just all, you know. I'm not, I think you guys know that I like to be different and I like things to stand out and stuff. I'm not the classic mom maker where you know you got all these classic braids and they're and every mom is like very similar and this goes here and this goes here and blah 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 and everything's a straight line that's just not me that's not my personality so i love this fun but something else that's great about it is you don't have to line up the stickers all perfectly going down it's so much easier to attach them so that's the end of this video I Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe. Don't forget to tap the bell for notifications on my uploads, live streams, and premieres. I try to upload a new premiere every Wednesday evening at 8.30. Every once in a while I skip, but sometimes I even have two premieres in a row. So watch for that. I do lives randomly throughout the week when I have time. I don't have a set schedule on that. I apologize. Sometimes I get more than one video out, but I do have the one premiere on Wednesday evenings every time and that's central time. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy mum making, happy crafting. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.